okay so now next question is coming to the functions any questions so far all of you all of you no i'm good okay so now the question is what is function so let me go through the little bit of slides so python function so guys in python we have a many different types of function one is user defined function the one which i'll create in some time we have a built in function also we have lambda function also we have recursive function also okay so right now uh, i whatever the function i talked about it user uh, built in function i showed you many built in function which you can use it that dir is the function which will list out the function also which i showed you while comparison but uh, focus is a user defined function okay so this is the focus how do you define the function so if you want to define the function in python you start with a def okay define a function name of the function whatever the argument statement and return value you see that one example here there is one function name called add and they are accepting two arguments x and y okay so when you call this function always you have to pass the two arguments x and y there is no type specific here but if you see that here uh if you see uh, here print formatted uh, formatting index so here f arguments and uh, f arguments are x and y and you are calculating a return x plus y that means you are adding these two value whatever you are passing and then returning that value so yeah uh, this uh, you can try so now here you see uh here you are having one string print hello world and uh, you are having one string uh which is 3 again integer 115 and here username input input means you are asking some values okay so here this is the way you can design this so get in uh, student is a one function and then you have a two uh, one student which is a list then again inside the function again there is one function okay so and here uh, again you have a list inside that and then you have a loop over there for student in students and all stuff like that uh, returning and then accordingly you can return to that so this way also nested function also you can design it okay so now let me show you some function example in the code format so here look at this here. so this is a function sum a plus b here i am calling the function a x is equal to sum 3 comma 4 okay so you are returning a plus b and uh, here you are printing x is equal to 7 so this is something which you can try see you. now one more here i want to show you there's one more function uh see this is a function where you have multiple arguments so here one function second function again here you are calling the function so it will print either this one or this one something like that okay so here your function where f name and len name you are calling my function which is email and references and it will print only the email and reference for it so this way also you can define the function and use that any question on the functions all of you any questions on the function yes okay next one is let's say you have a too many functions okay so how do you create a class that is something which we need to do that so let's get into the class so here let's understand the little bit of oops concept uh, i'll not be teaching you uh, polymorphism inheritance constructor and uh, you know abstractions and all Uh, though that is important, but right now the idea is 
you should start writing the system programming using python not the software development okay so let's say if you want to automate some of the system task then you should be able to do that so yeah this is the oops concept here so what is a class so here you have a class you see that a class is a human and when you instantiate a class you get a multiple objects now whatever the properties of the class it get inherited in the objects you know that that's called inheritance here uh, car is a class object is a uh, the mercedes bmw and audi is objects so from one class you can instantiate multiple objects as many you want though you inherit all the properties of the class but you can override some of the properties also for example let's say you are inheriting the some of the property from your parent but let's say your parent is doctor but you can override some of the properties and you become ingenious like that so that is can be done here you have a girl is a class and different types of girl uh, is object can be object boy is a class different types of boys is objects so yeah this is the image i think if you remember we uh, studied in our colleges also uh, so you have a student as a class different student you have it some of the properties common some of the properties will be different for example name will be different age will be different color will be different and so on but uh, some of the things will be same also yeah so here we have a class objects concept and so on so now the question is how do we create a class how do we create a class and how do we create a uh, objects out of it that is important okay so how do we do that so in python uh, you can declare the class using the class uh, one constructor and then student so here student is a new class now so class student so here now if you want to create objects out of it then student which is a uh, here uh, student is equal to student uh, s capital you see is a constructor now is creating a new instance of the student class this is something which you do that so now i'll show the one examples for easy interpolations so let's go for here class and objects here you find a, only examples so here there is one example for it i'm looking for smaller one because that way it will be easy for you to reference it this one look at this very simple class yeah. now you see that i told you when you want to define the class you have to define the class name of the class is car capital c this one now inside the class you will have constructor this is the constructor okay and initialization is a constructor now what you are passing to the class the default method constructor also you call it the default method so when you call the class this this property will be set for every objects which you created every objects so here it will be self self color and style so this will be passed to the object now here you are in this this is the default constructor and here you are creating one deep method okay and here you are having second method and that that's all so this is a class okay now if you see the so description print this is a self dot color self means it will come from here and dot color which is come from here self dot color is equal to color self dot style it will come from here style okay so this is the constructor this is a main method you can say and it is a main method for every class okay and it is defined and this property you can use it anywhere in the class so here i'm using self dot class color self dot style self dot color and so on and so now this is the class now here you are creating object look at this so here you are saying hey there is one object i want to create and the name of the object is uh, just a second hold on name of the object is c and c is equal to car which is here and the constructor will pass black and cedar so here first one will be color will be black 
style you can see then so when you print here you see c this is a object and you are calling the function so here show description so this will print black and hidden but the, again you see that here c dot change color white here you are changing the color and again if you see the c show description this will show you the white hidden here is a black hidden so here this is the way you create objects and here you are overriding the properties of objects and you are displaying this are you understanding all of you here it is so here after that you are deleting that object uh, that c dot color and then deleting sorry deleting the attributes and deleting the objects so here let's run this so here see first time black sedan is printed so this is the one and then second time here white sedan is printed because we change the properties of it so here overriding has happened and then finally delete and delete this so this is something uh, this is how you can declare the class in the in the python so always remember class name of the class some constructor and multiple method and this is how you can create object and then run the object and you can override the object and all the stuff you can do that and delete the object so if you don't delete the object it will be in the memory and it will create a memory issues or something something like that are you comfortable all of you yeah yeah so guys this is something which you have to do now the question you should ask me this is done modules uh, is done oops and this is also done modules is a collection of multiple class okay so right now you don't get opportunity to, to write a module because you are not writing a software so i'll just say out of scope now one thing which you will do a lot and that is called file operations okay so file operation is very important and this you need to do that file operation means reading the file using python modifying the file searching for it or deleting the file or something like that so how do we do that in python so let's work on this mm. So hmm. so this is a very important topic after knowing all these things because uh, most of you most of the time you need to do the system programming not the software programming that means you don't need to develop a software but you need to write a python program which will do some of the system task okay system task means getting the cpu getting the ram getting the uh, disk space or maybe checking some files uh, manipulating and transforming some files or something like that clean up operations or something like that you do so how do you do that so here that is what how do we work with files using python so understand that first of all understand that how this system uh, read the files so in 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 windows you have an image which is a different file format text audio executable different different types of files but in linux only two types of file one is binary and one is a file so i'll put it in simple way any files which you can open with the vi editor and which you can read it and make some sense of it that's called a uh, text file and which you cannot read it the uh, some stupid characters you get it that's called binary simple way okay so understand that way so how do we do the file handling in python so either you read the file or write a file or close the file and open the file so these are the things you do that open a file the process the workflow is very simple open a file process the data and close the file this is the things you have to do when the processing the data you can do that uh, writing or appending searching or anything you want to do that but you have to open a file 
process the data close the files thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today